Fireballs in Bedwars are used to blow away your enemies and help you fight. However, there's both a cheaper and sneakier way to do that. In the Bedwars shop, you are able to buy a snowball called the Bedbug, and when you throw it, it spawns a silverfish. But you can abuse this by throwing the silverfish behind someone that's on a bridge. Once the silverfish spawns, it will absolutely sneak attack the player. But my favorite part about this is if you get a bunch of them, you can spawn a silverfish army. But have you ever wanted to do this in Bedwars? While fighting someone, if you place a perfectly timed pop-up tower, you will trap your opponent. Then all you have to do is mine a hole and hit them at their feet like you're farming a mob. However, there's also a really funny way you can use your pop-up tower. If someone is bridging to you high, but at a close-up of height, you can place a pop-up tower under them. Because of how pop-up towers work, it will actually launch your opponent if you hit them right. But all of these tricks pale in comparison when it comes to what you can do with CNT. Everyone knows CNT can help you jump around and combo people and stuff, but this move I'm about to show you is so overpowered that it should be forbidden. This only works if someone is chasing you on a bridge. If you're far away enough, start randomly staircasing. Once your staircase is three blocks high, jump down and place a TNT under the staircase. Use your shears to mine holes in the bridge so that they stop whatever they're gonna do. This should stun them on the bridge long enough for the TNT to absolutely spleef them. After that, usually they will say something salty in the chat like subscribe for more bellwords.